we've just signed our 10th Memorandum of Understanding with the government across Africa. We've brought together partners from the Ivan Carter Wildlife Conservation Alliance, the Metzger Family Foundation, and a whole host of people, including the most amazing experts, to come and collar and collect samples of giraffe in the wild. So the choppers ahead of us, they've actually got some giraffe visual. Really important that what we call the chase vehicle, which is this vehicle with the catches in the back, is all ready to go before the dart goes in. They've got a giraffe visual and in a couple of minutes we'll be ready to go. The giraffes are tranquilized and fitted with a GPS satellite unit. These are the first steps of the groundbreaking giraffe research being carried out by Giraffe Conservation Foundation right here in Zimbabwe. It's a big part of what we do across all of Africa. We've got a program called Twigger Tracker. We've got amazing partners all over the world. This is what we're trying to do to put 250, 300 units on giraffe across the continent to figure out where they're going, what they're doing. You know, Julian, every single time you see a giraffe run off like that, it's a cool experience, not just for Giraffe Conservation Foundation, but for everybody that participates. We'd love to get as many people out here as possible. You know, the honest truth, it takes a couple of bucks, but there's people out there who have had a huge difference already for what giraffe have been doing, and we want them to keep coming along, keep experiencing, I think, one of the best things in the world. <laughs> Thanks very much, it was a great day. I mean, seven giraffe in one day is uh, a good effort. I mean, guys up in the air, Seven up, happy, and uh, seven more to go. So over the last 50 years, giraffe have gone missing in seven countries. It's unbelievable, a silent extinction before our eyes. If we are to lose the world's tallest animal, what's gonna happen for the rest of the biodiversity on this continent? We need to do something now. We need to do it before it's too late.